So there are a couple of, uh, when it comes to body of an email, there are a couple of techniques that you can use. There's a bunch of them online. Uh, we actually, we use two in this, in this presentation. So one is the, the standard problem um, agitate solve uh, type of thing where, you know, you first start with the first name on average and then there's a pain point, right? Uh, and, and, and a question, right? Is your company achieving that particular goal, so you're, you're basically trying to get on the, on, the, on, the, on the main point of the email, and then you go into a pain point and how you can relieve it, and there are some stats, right, that can, that can connect to that. Uh, this can easily get, um, this can easily become a lengthy email, so don't do that. Think of this as a funnel, right? You just wanna get the quick engagement. So it's almost like I invite you to play a tennis match. Uh, my partner, Sean Finder, he was, a, he was a tennis pro here in Canada. So, so like imagine if you call someone for, for a tennis match, and, th and then he starts, you know, just shooting the balls at a person, right? Like it's, it's not a match, it's just like, you know, it's just a savage thing to do. So you basically want to chit chat, you want to go back and forth, back and forth, so that's the whole point of it. And you end up this, this um, uh, 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 email with, uh, with a referral of, or how a competitor uh, is, is utilizing your product or service to solve this pain point, okay? And then there, there's before after bridge, which is basically you're trying to do a bit more of a storytelling. You know, Sean, I noticed that your SDR positions are open for quite some time, right? A fact. It's hard to find the right person to do the job and the lead gen suffers, right? Your top of the pipeline suffers. So I would love to show you how AutoClose can remove that burden. We already helped Software Inc. and Google making their uh, number one rep feel like a 10 people sales force, right? Would you like to discuss how we can help you too, right? So that's, that's, that's just one of the examples that we use. Uh, and, and it's a very short, it's a quick uh, email. So if you look at it on a mobile phone, if you do a preview on a mobile phone, you don't have to scroll just open there there you are you can just skim through so that's easy to reply to now this is a funny one uh there there are pros and cons to this email and it, it, it refers back to a subject line this is a cold email so um does, the content doesn't matter here what matters is a screenshot of adrian's calendar he can just just ask do you want your calendar to look like this there there you go right What's who doesn't want that if I saw that in an email, I would be <laughs> the meeting link right then and there. Exactly. So then there are spam words. So you want a software that can tell you which are the spam words and mark them and highlight them so you can change that. In this case, you can see that now and three are, are spam words, which is okay. So you're around two spam words, which is fine. If I have three, four, five, you should definitely remove it.